welcome to my channel happy new year i know i'm a little late because i was in the bay until like the 10th or like the 9th of january so i kind of got a late start to like starting my new year starting to reflect and all that stuff because if you don't know i live in la now i used to live in northern california like san francisco area so it's like a six hour drive when i was up north with my parents in my parents house i didn't really have like the space to like reflect or like journal or whatever and start my new year um so i'm kind of starting it a little late but i don't really believe in like having to start it at a specific time like it's really just when you're ready so i wasn't really like stressed over that honestly i just believe in starting whenever I want to or whenever I'm able to or whenever I am ready to I just want to fill my week this week I just have to like re adjust to this environment because I've been gone for like a whole month so yeah this week I'm just like catching up readjusting um, setting goals cleaning up I've literally been dreading to go to this gym so I'm kind of scared <laughs> Wow, the sun is really hitting right now. Like, I can't even fucking see. But, um, I just got back from the gym. It was pretty good. Um, nothing too crazy. Right now, I'm gonna go to Vaughn's. And then I'll show you guys what I get. Alright, this is what I have so far. Why do they always put my favorite water bottles at the top? Like, I'm too short for this. This is the only way I eat ravioli because it's vegan. They finally started selling them down here. I only was able to find it in the bay, but... They just started selling them down here. I love these. They're super good. Time for a grocery haul. I'm not comfortable vlogging in front of people yet. I live with eight other people. We're the next kids. And I just don't like vlogging in front of people. Like, like for this long. Because this is going to be kind of long. I got this vegan like chicken. Basically, you could put this into anything. My mom makes it with like chicken adobo. I got some berries. I want to try to make like a toast with like almond butter, honey, and like fruits on top so that's why i got this avocado for some avocado toast tomato soup and it's vegan so i was like super excited about this this is like vegan sausages um joey actually introduced me to this it's actually really good and has pretty good protein vegan sour cream vegan miso soup paste wasabi i was gonna say vegan wasabi but literally it's already vegan almond butter honey i surprisingly don't have soy sauce some sliced turkey kind of like deli meat so oh, it's vegan of course i got this pasta i buy a bunch of these a week so that i don't have to carry a case of water into the house i got wheat bread sushi wrappers i already told you guys about this my favorite vegan ravioli i loved ravioli growing up and i grew up um not vegan i was a carnivore so really exciting find um i got these basil dumplings thai dumplings and bananas what's up guys so i actually have some free time i'm gonna be decorating these crocs that croc sent to freaking mix kids like i am so excited i've never bought crocs before so i'm happy i never did because now I, I don't have to so i got this yellow one and it's like they call it orange but this is really like a mustard yellow i i just wanted both but I have a bunch of gibbets, the little charms you put on here. I have so many of those, so we're gonna decorate together. So these are all the ones I got, all the charms. I got these off Etsy. Um, these are definitely fake. They're not Crocs brand, but I mean, like, there's still cute charms for these. Um, so I'm super excited. <laughs> because tomorrow I have a pretty big leg day but yeah I've been stretching for the past like 20 minutes and yeah this is what I want to do more of this year I want to have time to stretch because it's like recovery for me like sometimes I feel certain parts of my body is like it hurts or feels tight so I really want to like since I do lift heavy like every single day pretty much I do want to spend more time stretching Good morning. 
it's Wednesday. It's 6.26 a.m. I'm gonna make vegan sausages and rice and ketchup. If you're Filipino, you know I told myself I was gonna make this today. And I'm proud of myself for getting up. I want to start cooking more this year. And like just eating a little bit healthier. So this is gonna help a lot. I literally bought this rice a year ago and never used it. So I'm finally gonna use it. So these are the vegan hot dogs that I like. It has seven grams of protein per link. So that's pretty good. So this is how it turned out. <clears throat> it looks kind of weird because I accidentally put too much oil and it kind of like fried it. You know that I do. Mm -hmm. Just how I remember it. The breakfast was delicious. Now, this I've been waiting for ever since last year. It's a true house package. It's actually Justin Bieber's like streetwear brand. <laughs> it's pink and yellow. It's so cute. I don't even want to unfold it. They folded it so perfectly. Oh my gosh, this is so comfortable and like weighted really nice. Because this matches this now. Like, Drew and Drew, like. Okay, so we just finished Next Kids rehearsal. We packed our merch and then we did like a singing rehearsal. It was my first time singing with them. I feel like my voice isn't terrible, it's just not very strong or loud so sometimes it's kind of hard to hear over music which sucks i feel like yeah so i just feel like it's not the worst voice in the world it's just i don't really know how to use it anyways i just ate i have an eyebrow appointment today and an upper lip wax appointment i've been there before and i really like it um it's just funny because <laughs> They like follow me on TikTok. Like after I had my appointment, they were like, I knew you look familiar. And they posted me on their Instagram and shit. And um, I saw that they did Brazilian waxes too. And I was about to book it, but I was like, wait, but like that's so awkward to like wax someone's pussy that you watch on TikTok. I have a separate appointment for her, the kitty later tomorrow. It's tomorrow. The kitty? What are you talking about, mom? Oh, not you, baby boo boo. Okay. This is my new new addition to the family. Her name is Boo. This is my gym fit of the day. Um, it's giving. I really don't give a fuck. Like, this is the only thing left in my fucking clean clothes pile. And I'm about to be late to my eyebrow appointment, so it is actually perfect weather outside. I'm literally wearing shorts and a t-shirt, and it feels amazing. It's January and it's not cold. This is definitely one of the reasons why I love living here. In the bay, it was freaking freezing and I hated it. Gonna get my eyebrows done. This is before, my eyebrows before. We'll see the after. Okay, and this is after. She filled them in, so they're not, this isn't like my natural brows. And I don't usually fill them in like this, but she does really good. I don't really know how to do my eyebrows like that. But anyways, like, I guess she told me my skin is super thin and look what happened. So my skin ripped off a little bit, like, that was actually really relaxing despite this. This fucking hurt. I actually was falling the fuck asleep. She started playing SZA, Good Days by SZA, and I literally knocked out. And I fell asleep, and then she touched my face, and I, like, like opened my eyes and shit, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, that's kind of embarrassing. I was twitching and shit, like, falling asleep. It's, oh, my gosh. But I was pretty relaxed. At least I was, like, relaxed or whatever, but fuck. Hurt. There's a whole ass mountain of snow up there, but it's so warm down here. I just want to know the logic. I just want to know how that works. Gym time and I forgot to charge my airpods a fucking gun. Oh, 
Okay, I'm back from the gym. I'm about to go and die so but today I was having a really Off day at the gym like everything felt so heavy, but it's normal You know every week is gonna be different every day is gonna be different. I didn't really let it discourage me I was just kind of like trying to do as much as I could and as much as I could last week, but It was just one of those days where like I was trying to go harder than last week trying to push more weights than last week but my body was like no you can't even push the same weight as you did last week so i couldn't go up in weight or anything but i just tried to do my best um and do as much as i could and 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 listen to my body with where i was at okay so i actually did find some cute things starting off i got this like the clear container it's kind of like a folder but like sometimes things fall out of my folder so this would be really helpful for me i needed a binder for my vision binder my vision board binder um that i'm making i needed a new notebook and then i got these cute really kuma stickers i don't know where the fuck i'm gonna put them i got this for my main vision board um because i feel like vision boards like they change throughout the year sometimes so i wanted to get something that i could like change easily and then I also got this for my paint. It comes with a bunch of them. It would be really helpful. I got this Rilakkuma car freshener and then this one. Okay, right now I'm going to show you some PR that I got. Um, Next Kids got it, actually. It's PSD. Actually, they sent me stuff before, so I really love them. But first, I got this, like, sports bra. It's more like literal underwear but i guess you can wear it to the gym but it's actual literal underwear so i don't like i don't think i would wear this to the gym but probably with my boyfriend Ugh, i'm probably gonna turn these into shorts and then i got a matching bra see how it kind of looks like the american flag i don't know and then this one's so cute. I wish I had the shorts instead. I'm actually kind of mad. Maybe I can buy it. But yeah, this is actually really fucking cute. But um, yeah, that's what we got. We got hella shit from them. So shout out to PSD. I actually fuck with them. It's Thursday. Today is basically my Friday because next kid's work is basically from... We have meetings on Mondays and then Tuesday through Thursday is like actual like physical work it's like my friday it's almost the weekend i'm about to cook something right now it's like 6 15 a.m breakfast of the day i have some toast with almond butter honey and fresh fruits and then to balance the sweetness out i have some sausages it was actually a pretty good combo and i'm of course drinking it with some guava juice pretty solid meal Okay, the breakfast was delicious. I'm gonna get ready for next kid's filming and I think we're just doing TikToks today. I have 30 minutes to get ready though, so we kinda have to hurry. Here's my outfit of the day. I got this top from Shein. It's kinda like a body. Like this is like the tits and this is like the jewelry and the stomach. Like, yeah, it's cool. And then Juicy Good Solar Pants giving she hulk i love hulk oh and then my crocs um have hulk so it's like perfect like we're matching like like i can't wait for she hulk to come out one of my favorite superheroes i'm really about to go to my pussy wax appointment in this like <laughs> like so typical of me So that was a good experience. I had one blackhead. She like <laughs> uses a tweezer to kind of like get it out. I don't know. Yeah, if you want to come here, I actually really recommend her. Um, it's the wax goddess in Diamond Bar in SoCal. Um, she's really nice and casual. Like she doesn't make it weird. If you've never had a Brazilian wax before, I do recommend like breathing throughout it. So after she puts the wax on and then she's she puts the strip on, that's when you're gonna wanna inhale and you're gonna exhale right before she rips the whole thing off. Um, that really just helps you relax. 
Um, because if you're tense the whole time, you're, it's gonna hurt more. I want some boba now. Okay, so I ended up getting this vegan Thai tea without boba, and then I got a vegan crunchy roll. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love sushi. Uh, I came to the conclusion that it's kind of unrealistic not to eat out at least like once or twice a week. Like it's just a quick snack. It's not like a huge meal. It's just sushi. If you've ever worked at Jamba Juice, you know the trick. And then you put it in the cup. Mm. And that will wake me up for later. I just added the sauce on top and it looks so good. It has like jackfruit in it. Mm. That's pretty good. Going to my boyfriend's house, like, this fucking thing is huge. This restaurant in Thousand Oaks, that Thousand Oaks Mall, has the best pad thai I've ever had, ever. Ever. Okay, so I ordered pad thai. <sighs> Sorry. I'm, I don't know why I've been so hungry lately, but I'm like starving all the time this week. I feel like it's because I've been waking up a little bit earlier. Mm. Can I say something about this bad time? It is the best in at least California because I've never had something this good. It's in the Thousand Oaks Mall in California. It's so good. I cannot. Mmm. I'm on there. It's exquisite. It's exquisite. I don't really know how to say that word. I literally get this like once a week. It's so good. I changed fit number three of the day. And I'm working out with my boyfriend. Look at him putting in the work. I don't feel like being here right now, to be honest with you. You got keep burping up my pad thai that I ate earlier. I ate the whole thing, guys. Come on. Nice. Press. Press. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, it. Me and Joey are obsessed with back rollers because we can crack our back on it. That's not what they're for, yeah. but. We like cracking our backs. Read it. I can't, I can't crack no one. I'm okay. scared. I can choke on my saliva. Alright, so that's it for this week. Um, this was my first week vlogging, so don't judge my vlogging style. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm so sorry if it was boring or too long or whatever, but please let me know which parts you liked and which parts you didn't like. Trust me, I can take the criticism. I do every single day. Yeah, let me know what you thought. Comment, like, share, subscribe, turn on my post notifications. All my socials are in the description box. Follow my Pinterest and my Snapchat and my Twitter. Those are my three most slept on social medias. Make sure you check that out. And I also have a shop, lunascustoms.com, where I have my merch and my custom clothing that I make. And that's it. Love you guys. And see you later.